Good morning, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your morning video blog for Tuesday, July 8, 2014. Going to be another hot and humid day in Berwick, Massachusetts. Going to be about 91, a threat of th showers and thunder showers and severe storms later on today. We're in a summertime weather pattern, so we have to expect it. Some sports news to report. The Boston Red Sox dropped another game, this time to the Chicago White Sox, by the score of 4 to nothing. Adam Dunn, designated hitter for the White Sox, hit on, uh, his 453rd career home run that he is in sole possession of 35th place on the all-time home run list. He passes Kai Yastrzemski, who played for the Boston Red Sox for 23 years on the list. That's amazing. That's very amazing for Adam Dunn. He only needs 47 more home runs to reach 500 home runs, and he probably go in the Hall of Fame for that. Also, 24 years ago today, the classic TV sitcom Mr. Belvedere ended its six-year run on ABC. Mr. Belvedere was a was a great comedy about an English housekeeper who moves in with a family in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It starred. Christopher Hewitt as Lynn v Belvedere, and it also starred Eileen Graff and Bob Uecker, among others. So it was a very funny show. It had a good theme song. It lasted six years on ABC. And I hope MeTV gets the reruns of this classic television sh to come in, in the near future. And my first subject of the day is about, do you think, about Boston hosting the 2024 Summer Olympic Games. Boston is on the short list f for the IOC for a host city for uh, the USA for 2024. They're in the running with San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Washington. And a decision is going to be made later on in the year which which city is going to represent the, uh, the United States to try to bid to host the 2024 24 summer games. Boston could host the summer games, but the infrastructure is the one that's really concerned about many people. Where are you going to hold all these events? You could, there's some locations you could hold these events that are already made, like the TD Garden for basketball, and maybe you could have gymnastics at the Agnes Arena, and maybe volleyball at Conti Forum on campus of, of Boston College, and maybe handball at at like Harvard where they play the basketball games at Harvard but where you're gonna find the room to put the Olympic Stadium and Olympic Village for all these athletes and where's the aquatic center gonna go it's gonna be very difficult plus the congestion of this of this of the highways in Boston will be impacted a lot and especially the MBTA the MBTA is very inadequate to hold how many people are going to come for these events. There's probably going to be hundreds of thousands of people coming to these events from all across the country and around the world. And is it capable? Yes. But is it realistic? No. It's not going to happen, folks. Boston's not going to host the 2024 Summer Olympic Games. I could get, guarantee you that. The vote comes in will probably be will be coming in in September 2017 and I don't think Boston really has a chance to host the Summer Olympic Games. Could they pull it off? Sure, but the infrastructure is very, very, you know, it's impossible. Plus, if it's going to run into delays, over cost, and you know how the state of Massachusetts runs, sometimes stuff gets, projects get stuck in limbo in Massachusetts for years and that's not a good thing. So, no to host for Boston to host the Summer Olympic Games in 2024. It's not going to happen, my friends. Okay? I will be back later for another one of these blogs. The second blog of the day will be about is Luis Tion, pitcher who pitched mainly for the Boston Red Sox in the 70s, a baseball Hall of Famer. Okay? I'll be back later. Have a good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers.